All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is up to another episode about my stool that I'm making, a step stool for my vintage travel trailer. Um, it's made out of mahogany with the aluminum trim. Um, I'm trying to replicate a picture that I saw online of a stool that goes with my trailer, which is a 1937 Pierce Arrow Travel Lodge. And it actually says that exact name on the stool. And I am going to replicate every aspect of that stool as much as I can. Um, I do not know the exact same size, but I have measured and figured out that this height is perfect for my travel trailer. So today, we are going to paint it black and add the tread type paint, which is bed liner paint, to the top and we'll let that dry. And uh, next time that I post this video, uh, you will see me paint on the stencil that I made. Um, to give it its original appearance. Hang in there and watch this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna tape the aluminum trim off so that you don't get the paint on the aluminum. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect because I plan on polishing this top edge. So if there was any paint went on the trim, wouldn't be too bad, but. And I'm just painting this top portion with the textured bed liner paint. The bottom trim aluminum will get painted. I think that's how they had it originally. I could see that some of the trim was showing through the paint from the original photo. There you go. What you're going to want to do is get something to prop your stool onto. So when you're painting you get the edges nice and clean. I'm going to use this black paint. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to use an oil based paint. To paint the bottom portion all the way around, including the trim. You're going to want to put some gloves on when you, before you start painting because this stuff's messy. Nice and black. Before I paint the base, I want to get the underside first. It's all up in here. Get your brush. Make sure there's no hairs. I like to do this to get the loose hairs out. It's just cheap. Just a really cheap brush.
get any paint on your trim, you can always clean it off with acetone or paint thinner. I normally use acetone for my projects. Seems to work good. All right, now that you've painted the sides in whatever color you choose, I chose black, gloss black, oil-based. Um, I'm gonna put this bed liner material to help prevent this from being slippery. And I think it's the best for if you ever need to recoat it, it's the best choice. So if you need it to be textured again, you could just repaint it. Instead of putting a rubber that has a coating, then you'd have to replace the rubber, tear it off, start over. This way it's just easy. Now you just gotta mix this stuff because gritty stuff is on the bottom. If you don't mix it, you get, see all that? That's the textured material. So you're going to want to mix that into the paint. Now that you've mixed the paint, You're going to want to paint it onto your top. You want to take one of those cheap brushes that you get at your local hardware store or paint store. I guess you could sell them and just paint your top. It's kind of hard to see. Get this if I can see. You can see that there's like bumps in the paint. That's the texture. That's what you want. It's definitely thick. You want it to be on there really thick, but you also want it to be even. I try to thicken it up.
stuff should dry nice and hard. It'll be very durable. Just trying to make it smooth as I can. This is a water-based bed liner paint that I'm using. say that that is good. I think that'll work. So anything that has an edge that's taped off that you want a nice clean line because especially this paint that I put on the top that has a texture it's really thick so when it dries it will take um, the paint with it. So you're going to want to take it off carefully when it's wet so that it doesn't harden on the tape. Well, that concludes our vintage trailer wooden stool. I painted the bottom half with gloss, black paint, oil-based, and then the top has a water-based bed liner paint so that it has a little bit of a texture and um, non-slip um, sand additive in the paint. I might add a second coat of black, gloss black, to the bottom. I'm not sure yet. Um, again, I want the patina slash I want it to wear over time. Um, I will put a stencil um, on the front and the back side on the long side of it. And um, that will help define the original look that I am going for from that photograph. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.